Hi YouTube, this is Megs and I am here with another review. I know this review has been all throughout YouTube but I want to do my version. So I got here the UB5R blue version. So, okay, so what, I can, what I'm going to do in this video is going to show you how to save memory, how to delete memory, how to save repeaters on your Baofeng okay so first we're gonna go to VFO mode which is this one right here right now you can tell if it's on VFO mode because there's no numbers at the uh, right side of the screen just like this one okay we're on VFO mode which is frequency mode now we're gonna type in our frequency that we want to save so for example this one we want to save that you're gonna go ahead and press menu and get down to menu 27 then look for a frequency that is that is vacant okay you got 59 so that's vacant there's no ch you can see if um this memory memory slot is um taken if there's a ch at the left side of the screen so on 29 uh, 59 it's it's empty so we're gonna have we can save the memory right there i mean that channel i mean the frequency rather the frequency that we have here we can save it there so that was 59 59 okay then hit menu to save the frequency to confirm that we're gonna go ahead and go to channel mode as we can see the frequency that we had just saved is already here right there okay now we're gonna show you I'm gonna show you how to save repeaters okay good now um, mm -hmm. go back to frequency mode type in the repeater you want one four five two two zero now this is not an active repeater but I'm just gonna show you how to um, save repeaters and set up a repeater on a Baofeng UB5R or any Baofeng radio so once again hit menu go to menu 25 there you can set the shift direction of your of the repeater so let's just say it's it's a positive shift then hit menu to confirm then press the press the up here to go to offset and set your offset let's just say your offset is 1.5 okay hit menu to confirm then hit exit now as you can see there is a plus button at the top of the LCD right there okay and we hit the PDT it changes the frequency okay next and um, after that we're gonna save it to a memory channel now once again we go to menu menu 27 then let's look for a vacant um, channel okay so we're gonna go channel 60 because that was channel 59 and we're gonna go ahead and hit menu to save the frequency that we just entered now that is entered already we're gonna go hit exit then go to channel mode to confirm that our repeater is already there right there and this is the frequency that we just saved right there and this is the frequency that has the repeater okay as you have noticed that my radio has the name tags on them because i have already programmed this radio you cannot uh, put some alpha numeric tags without a computer so if you were wondering how I put the alphanumeric tags I used chirp to program this radio and use some programming cables right there it's a Kenwood type I hope you guys already know how to yeah I think you guys know already know how to program this radio but for those who doesn't know how to program you can just search uh, chirp software on Google and download the software 
and install it and get the get yourself some programming cable so that's it guys this is migs once again um stay safe and get push